everyone, my name is MJ Vilches and welcome to part 2 of the creation process of this month's entry for the Underland Chronicles Art Challenge. So yeah, for this month we will be working on uh, chapters, like a scene from chapter 1 to 2 of uh, book 2. Oh, wait, let me just change my transitions here. Book 2 uh, of the Underland uh, Chronicles by Suzanne Collins. So book 2 is titled Gregor and the Prophecy of Bane. And yeah, if you haven't read the book yet, this this uh, this stream will have some spoilers in it, so yeah, fair warning. But anyways, uh, for this stream, uh, this is the second part, we are gonna be uh, continuing with our artwork, which I, I think I know what I wanna do now for this artwork, and I guess the thing that I wanna do is uh, it's probably just do a 3D render, probably like a 2D and 3D render kind of thing happening here. So we're now in Blender. And this is our progress so far, the jar. And there's a cockroach in it. It's the spy, you know, spy in a jar. That's the title of our artwork. And yeah, this is uh, like a scene from chapters, chapter one of Gregor and the Prophecy of Bane by Suzanne Collins. So yeah. I actually need to make sure that Gregor here is posed properly. Gotta make sure that this is something like that. Let's see what we can do here. I need to move that right there. I think it's going through the gro it's going through the glass now. The finger. Let's uh, change some of the. So yeah, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, what I'm gonna do for part two is just setting up the 3D scene here, just you know, finalizing the pose of the character and the whole angle and stuff. And yeah, that's just what we're gonna do for part two. Just making sure that everything is properly positioned, properly posed. The 3D scene is nicely set up. And we'll see what we can do. But yeah. Um, Things could still change for the final product. Uh, I'm probably just gonna end up using this 3D uh, character, it's this 3D scene here as a reference for a 2D artwork. But yeah, as I said, uh, I might go for like a comic style render, like a cell shader, non photo realistic kind of render for this one. Yeah, maybe, maybe just a bit of that overlap is nice. I'm not sure. The overlap of the like the finger, like going through there a bit. Maybe that's gonna add like. Hmm. I need to like, I need to rotate this finger so that we can see all of the fingers there. Yeah. This is the new Gregor model. So what I need to do... I'm gonna hide the root bone here. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go to scripting and... Up. I'm gonna have to append the... The file. I tell you what, never mind. I wanna be able to finish this artwork quickly, so what I'm gonna do instead of a 3D render... We're gonna do like a 2D anime kind of style, or you know the kind of style that I that I do for my 2D drawings. That's what I'm gonna do instead. And we're gonna be using the uh, the uh, you know the character the 3D models as a reference for the 2D artwork. So instead of us setting up uh, the 3D scene here, which is we're still gonna do, um, uh, just, uh, uh, instead of just doing that, I'm also gonna be doing some outline for the 2D artwork. So. Yeah, let's just try and post a cockroach here so that it looks nice. Maybe raise this up right like that. Bring down the body quite a bit. Maybe maybe make it like kind of standing up more right there. And Roach is looking at Gregor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gotta open the eyes. 
And let's see, I'm gonna try and look at this in uh um hey there seesaw so uh what i'm doing right now is not a short film this is just a, a simple artwork uh but yeah the underland project uh the thing that i'm working on right now uh, the episode one is going to be a short film and it's not really uh, uh it's events uh way before this here but yeah i'm cr currently creating a short film uh based on the book gregory the overlander by suzanne collins and I'm doing this challenge, the Underline Chronicles art challenge, to like to tell the fans or the followers of the project that I'm still working on the project. But yeah, what I'm doing right now uh, at this moment, the Spy in the Jar, is not a short film. It's just a uh, an artwork, a, a still. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how how things go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna end up doing a 2D kind of thing. Let's just go and, uh, yeah, if you want to know more about the Underland Project, by the way, there's going to be a link in the description below about that. But yeah, it's just kind of like an experimental thing that I'm doing to see how, how much I can do by myself. And currently, I'm in production stage of the animated short film. And yeah, um, planning on finishing it uh, this year. So yeah, you'll be seeing that if you follow... You know, the doodle boat and um, the stuff that I do in Doodle Launch Productions. Uh, I make tons of videos. I made tons of videos about it already. So if you, yeah, you know. Uh, if you want to do something like this, depending on what you want, you probably would need the whole body, especially if you want like the body to have like to be reflected on the glass right here. Because if it's a 3D render, then everything else will be rendered. Let's. I'm gonna try to go and uh, go change to like a sh the sh the shader shading preview. The material preview here. This is gonna take a while because the shaders will compile, and my laptop is not that powerful. But yeah, it really depends on what you are aiming for in your artwork. I think. And yeah, if you wanna go for like a 3D photorealistic render, you're gonna have to probably model. Uh, the whole body so that the whole body will be reflected on the glass so if you want something like that to happen but if you're like going for like a 2d style artwork just like what i'm trying to aim for right now um i think it would be fine to just have a hand uh, this character by the way yeah I'm, I'm using it uh in the animation in the short film that I'm working on right now and yeah I also shared the creation process of this character in this channel by the way time-lapse video so yeah looks like this that's not gonna be how it's gonna look in the end but yeah we're gonna be adding a whole lot of stuff for this probably but yeah since like I said I'm only gonna be doing a 2d artwork using this as a reference we don't really have to do much so we have the roach there i will need to just post around the antenna antenna the antenna for a while here just properly bend it so that it looks nice yeah thank you so much for uh, considering to look at my contents seesaw But yeah, this is like a big project, like my first big project. And you can check out the main channel to like watch some, uh, some animations explaining the the project, because I make animations. I have like a series of animations on my main channel explaining uh, my you know my journey as I try to make films and animations by myself. So yeah, I think. That's already nice. I can do some tweaking uh, for the on the two D one, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and try and post the mandibles right here. Thank you, Seesaw, for the sub. 
and thank you for watching some of the contents some of my contents i really aim to like make a ton of like films and animation projects and i want to share you know the process of creating those projects uh, so yeah it will all be here in the doodle boat the creation process like the behind the scenes stuff and the main contents will be on my main channel which is doodle notes productions Oh, what was that you? <laughs> yeah, masking is is painful. So it's probably why my voice ended up sounding like that. So I'm just going to save this and I'm probably going to do a quick render of this which will probably affect the stream but we'll see. Hopefully it won't. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I set up the 3D scene scene here. Let's try and pick like a nice point on the window since you know this is still we can I can move things around I, I, I should probably all P this clear and keep keep transformation and I'm gonna move this window here so that we have more stuff there so maybe something like this will be nice just so we have more like detail on it or maybe hmm maybe something like this I can probably move this this right here the whole this like handle thing control L Yeah, I'm glad I'm, that you managed to find it through the lightsaber. But yeah, um, when you know, you just really have to like study compositing about that. By the way, I'm about like uh, compositing the 3D layer on it. Yeah, compositing the 3D like object, the CGI elements onto a live action footage. So yeah, I think that's a nice background already. We have our glass here. I'm really not sure if I'm going to aim for 3D or 2D here. We have set up the scene. It's nice already. And now, yeah, I'm, I, I'm just going to go for like a 3D, I mean 2D artwork for this one. So let's go and tr I'm going to try and do a render. So I'm just going to go to view and viewport render image hopefully this will not affect the stream it didn't so we can keep going i'm gonna save this i'm gonna use that render as a reference so let's see i'm just gonna go ref save this as ref so t-s-i-a-j just stands for uh the spy in a jar so i'm just gonna save that So the window won't have lights because this is not going to be 3D, it's going to be 2D. It's just there for reference. So I'm not going to be setting up light here. I might set up some lights on uh, 2D, the 2D one. But we'll see. It's probably going to do like a mix of 2D and 3D here. Yeah, and anyway, in any case, I'm just going to save that. that render if ever we need that as a reference but yeah right now what i can do i think is make background 3d and the subject 2d maybe i can do something like that so i'm gonna add a collection and make name this g pencil for grease pencil because this is where i'm gonna be putting or maybe i'll name this foreground or subject, subject, not foreground. These are the subject elements. Um, I, uh, in the in the book, it says that this is an old mayonnaise jar that Gregory is using to hold his pencils and stuff. So, it, I think it wouldn't have like a a cap because this is like a uh, he uses this to hold his pencils and other. I think you know some pen and pencils. That's what this mayonnaise jar is used, according um, 
uh, that's what it said in the book. So yeah, that's why it doesn't have a, a cap. And it, it, it would not be book accurate if I add a cap there. Since he's just using this as a, a place to hold his pens and pencils. So yeah, let's keep going. Grease pencil. I'm gonna name this... Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna name this subject. And in this subject, grease pencil layer... We are gonna be. I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete some some workspaces here, ones that we don't we won't need, like the texture paint. We won't need that shading. We might need that. We won't need animation. We'll be needing rendering, and the rest of those guys. So I'm just gonna add two D animation layout here because we are gonna be. And the little sister is in the room. What? Can't help you right now. Uh, e. Um, bring your paper here. Anyways, yeah, that was my little sister. He's she voiced Boots on the short film, by the way. The short film that I'm currently working on. But yeah, just uh, uh, just watch the Journey to Awesomeness videos to like see some sneak peeks from that short film. Because right now I'm I'm in production stage. I still need to render. Uh, a bunch of shot for the final short film. I'm just doing this to uh, to have some contents on my channel while I am working on the project. So, anyways, hopefully the background of is not. Let me just close the door for a bit. Okay. Okay. Now we can start doing some light. Uh, some line art, um, some lining, or uh, inking, or line arts, or I'm not really sure how to call what to how to call uh, what how to call it, or what to call it in a two D in this kind of works workflow, because we're yeah, it's just it's so weird. Now what we're just, what we're just gonna do is just do some line line arts or lining or inking, or whatever is the term, depending on I guess. This, stuff that you use not sure but yeah i'm gonna add a new grease pencil layer here on a grease on the grease pencil object i'm gonna name this first we're gonna war uh, we're gonna do we're probably gonna split the jar into two layers so i'm gonna start with the jar foreground layer i don't think yeah, I did not name that right. And what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna make sure that we know where our. I'm gonna turn on 3D cursor here. I wanna know where the 3D cursor is. I also wanna see the origin, which. What? Where is the origin of the grease pencil? Oh, it's right there. It's so far. We're going to have to move that. I'm gonna have to go to object mode and I'm gonna shift S cursor to select it right on the cockroach there. Or maybe right there. I'm gonna shift. I'm gonna select the subject. Grease pencil object again. Selection. The cursor. Oh, keep offset. Yes, that's what I want. The selection, which is subject, will be placed right where the cursor is. That's what shift S selection the cursor does. So now I can start drawing probably maybe i have to move it closer to the jar there now i can draw so i'm not sure why this is so white right now it's probably because it's gonna do something like that why is this so white oh it's because of the viewport yeah, I can just turn that down. And we are gonna do some drawings. So I'm gonna start with a jar FG layer, which will be this part right here. That is so big. I will need to change this to pen. I think the ink is so big right now, yes. Because we're so small. I'm gonna have to change that right here. 
I also will display the grease pencil object in front so that we can always see it. And I also need to reduce the radius, maybe about eight. It's still too thick. Five. Too thick. Two. Maybe two works. I can always change the thickness of that after I'm done drawing. And instead of using the pen, I'm going to use uh, shapes right here. So I'm going to use a curve for this top part right here. And I'm supposed to also add a material for this. I'm going to add new, um, make this uh, outline. I'm going to rename this outline. Yeah, just a block, a black outline. And I'm going to add uh, another one right there there and now I can probably use this again just do something like this yes kind of like that but my plan here is to make like the subject like this hand in the jar and the roach inside they will be probably in 2D, most of this is just gonna look like a stylized, 2D stylized artwork. Aiming for like an, a look that I always use for my 2D artworks. It's gonna be colored, not black and white. So yeah, the outline is just really for an outline for a 2D artwork. And I'm just using the 3D as like a reference, more like, Hey Michael, welcome to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. So I've decided to do like a 2D, 3D kind of thing going on. We'll see. There's still a lot of things that we can experiment before deciding on like a final decision for the final uh, format of the artwork. But yeah, that's just, I guess, the great thing about creating an artwork. Is just, it's just that you can experiment. As long as the artwork is still a work in progress, you can like experiment on the kind of methods that you can use to to achieve the final result which in this case uh, I kept it like open or changes depending on what I want to do in the end so yeah Cezo thank you so much for uh, you know stopping by and yeah hopefully I'll see you on a future stream so yeah goodbye and have a nice day See, I'm just gonna keep going here. I'm gonna finish the outline part and then we're gonna proceed into the coloring and other parts on the next part, which will be next week. But yeah, this stream, we're gonna be doing some outline. And a bunch of other stuff, probably. Or mostly just outlined. Gonna go get the curve here. See, so yeah, this is like a very thick outline, but I guess it's fine. We can work with this. I can do Alt S and reduce like the thickness of the outline as you, s you can see. I'm gonna go back here, make this one. Yeah, I guess that's way better. There we go. Need to Alt S this even more. And then you're gonna keep going until we manage to outline the whole jar there. So I'm just doing some quick outlines here. Make sure it looks nice. Because, yeah, there's just a quick artwork that I want to do. To tell you guys, oh, just to make more f fan arts for the Underland Chronicles by Suzanne Collins. And also, 
to uh, inform followers of the Underland project that the project is still ongoing, still working on it. So let me just go do that. Like this. This should be quick. So just really using the might end up changing this color of this outline here just so it doesn't obstruct like our main subject which will be the the jar and the and the and the cockroach inside of it so i'm just going to turn on proportional editing here set it to connected only and just drag stuff right there now we're done with like the first layer of our grease pencil object which is like the foreground of this jar next we can go work on jar jar binks <laughs> jar jar binks jar bg i just finished watching clone wars season seven yeah anyways Uh, in this scene, Gregor's like protecting the cockroach. What he did next after this is you are going to have to read the book because I'm not going to be spoiling too much. So, yeah, we have that. Now we can go and I'm going to add a layer for the hand. Gregor, hand. And for the hand, I'm going to be doing some drawings. So I think it would be nice to use a drawing for this one. I'm gonna set the radius to like respect the... Oh no, I might have to restart Blender because somehow there's no tapering happening. Oh, it's probably because I'm, un I'm doing the... I'm, I'm, I'm at one pixel. And it absolutely refused to go taper stuff here. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna go quickly. I'm gonna add more smoothness to the stroke here. Set the smooth to one for post processing here. And just draw our hand. Still kind of jagged though for some reason. Wonder why that's happening. Oh well. Just gotta have to keep going. That's weird. Really? You don't have. You can probably buy, buy one in Amazon or something. It's actually even more difficult to look for the books here, but I think it's easier now with the online shopping and stuff. But yeah, maybe try try looking it up in Amazon, uh, Mike Michael. Maybe you'll find it there. Yeah, I think I think it'd be worth the read. So yeah, give it a read if you if you if you, if you can. I'm just gonna go draw here something like that I can even change how that looks so yeah I'm just using the hand here the 3d objects as a reference it would probably be easier to use the rendered version of this but I'm just gonna keep going for now because I also want to try out other things later on if I can. Something like that.
I'm just gonna go like this and like this <clears throat> probably need to also draw a like a background of the hand the hand layer so like this like that and just a quick line towards that I can even just I can just use probably just use this that one just bend it a bit press enter so we have that I'm gonna add a new layer Gregor Gregor hand FG for foreground I'm gonna add a new layer move it downwards and rename this Gregor hand BG we're gonna keep outlining here so yeah, not 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 much fun yet for this one so I'm just gonna draw the hand behind here and then this hand right there and then something like that and that should complete the hand area now I'm gonna put a new layer between the FG and BG jar layers I'm just gonna draw name this spy which is the roach so this is gonna be slightly tricky because our out our, our radius cannot get any bigger and I don't think I can scale it even huh it's gonna be difficult I might have to scale this whole thing yeah I might have to scale this whole thing like big yeah I'm gonna have to scale the whole thing so I'm gonna go select the jar and parent it to the empty select, uh, select I'm gonna select Gregor's armature here and parent it to this empty control P object keep transform I'm also gonna select the jar control P object and the cockroach rig right there and the grease pencil control P object keep transform and also the camera will be parented the empty and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna scale it up so we can add more radius to the so I'm gonna scale it ten times maybe or maybe just five s five scale it five times maybe we can go down now yes now we can go even thinner because we scaled it yeah that should look nice hopefully and now we can we can draw for the roach the spy so really Oh well, let's just do this. Yeah, that's very, very thick. And I can't seem to... I can't set this to 0.5, that's just impossible, so... Oh well, let's keep going.
I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock all the other layers here so we don't accidentally delete that. Delete this one. I'm gonna do this again. And just draw a roach here. Can probably move this further back here. Just draw the mandibles. So that's so weird. I'm gonna have to use this. Ah, that's so thick. Yeah, this is probably the only problem I have with this thing. I'm gonna try restarting Blender. Maybe, maybe it will fix. Maybe that will be fixed by restarting Blender. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Yeah, I think. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna go here again. How oh, well? It's gonna slowly draw here. It's so thick. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to resize the. Uh, the stroke later. It's gonna be so thick right now, but later once I uh, reduce the stroke thickness, this will make sense hopefully. Yeah, this is the problem of not like preparing your scene properly. And I'm just having a hard time tracing here there we go like that like so and I'm gonna use a curve thingy curve tool And a little rascal is here again. Uncle, yeah. Yes, later, ma'am. Thank you. I'm not your uncle. This one. Yes, I know the baby. But please, not now, ma'am. Close the door, please. Thank you. Yeah. Just a little visit from the little sister. So I'm just gonna quick I'm just gonna do a couple of lines here and I think I'm gonna call it for the day. So yeah, they think there's going to be an underland I'm I've been waiting for a long time for an underland movie, like a Thunderland Chronicles movie, uh Michael. But I I'm 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 not sure if it's ever going to happen. Maybe someday, maybe maybe I will do it, you know. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I started this project. It's because I've been waiting for a movie adaptation of the books and it never came. So, you know, if they're not going to make one, I'm, gonna, I'm making one myself. And hopefully it's going to be a successful one. Like, I, I'm actually going to be able to pull it off. But yeah, at this point, maybe I can because I'm already done with the animations. I just have to render the animations at this point. And we're going to be watching that together uh, this year. Definitely this year. I'm gonna be finishing it this year. I cannot prolong the production any longer. Oh no! What did I? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, I switched to. Phew. But yeah, I think that's all for this stream. Uh, 
uh, just some outlines. I'm gonna be finishing uh, the rest of the outlines for the roaches off camera, but you know, it's just basically doing the same thing and also selecting everything and just reducing the the thickness. That kind of stuff happening for the rest. Yeah, that's all for this stream. I thank you so much for everyone who watched, to Michael, to Seesaw, uh, to anyone who watched this one, whether you watch it on the live stream or after it's uploaded it on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching up to this point. Yeah, that's all for this. And uh, before anything, before ending, I want to say thank you to my Kofi givers, the Golden Doodle Fuel givers, to Handsome Distribution, Eric Madrigal, to Agency. I also want to thank Elizabeth Money, Magnolia Weather Shield, Tristan Wintel, M Buddy, and Kiyomu Gage. Yeah, these guys have given me some support through my Kofi page, co-fee.com slash doodle nose productions. And yeah, depending on how much uh golden doodle fuels give, you unlock some certain uh, perks. Just like you know, Tristan Wintel, M Buddy, and Kiyomu Gage here. They get to have their own 3D animated avatars. I mean 3D avatars that is in the style of Journey to Awesomeness. Yeah. Uh, consider supporting me in Kofi and get some um, perks just like a VIP access to my Discord server which, where I'm mostly active giving updates. So yeah, join the Discord server if you want to like hang out or you know, talk about Blender and stuff. You know, just join my Discord server. The link should be in the description below. And yeah, follow Doodlenose Productions everywhere on the internet to see the stuff that I do. And also subscribe to this channel for more the making of stuff. So yeah. Uh, there's really nothing much to say. Uh, I don't want to make this too long. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. My name is MJ Vilches. And.